What's going on guys? Tonight we're going to look at this one graph that's on the Business Insider. And you could actually find this at the St. Louis Fed as well. But it talks about the U.S. bank total loans and leases. And Lynn Ann Saunders at Charles Schwab, this is what she's noted. Over the past 16 weeks, 15 weeks, there has been a sharp acceleration in bank lending, which is now growing at an 8.6% annual rate and could suggest animal spirits are reviving. But it does mean we need to keep an eye on the velocity of money to gauge the risk of an inflation scare. So if you look at the bank loans, they have been going up. And I do have this one chart on the St. Louis Fed we could look at from a few years. So if you look at here, this just breaks it down from 2011. And as you can see, the loans, you could say, are slowly but steadily starting to pick up. That being said, if you looked at what this individual was saying, Lynn Ann Saunders, let's go back to here, right? She says that the acceleration, it's been growing at 8.6% annual rate. So if the banks are starting to lend right now, because of the fact that we have like, what is it, $1.7 trillion in reserves on hand at the Federal Reserve. So when loans are created, what happens, they're usually created out of thin air, and the economy starts to pick picks up because of fractional reserve lending, guess what? You get more inflation than you otherwise would have if you've had a sound banking system, which we technically do not have. So because of fractional reserve lending, more reserves come out. We get high velocity, higher velocity when the economy picks up steam. So let's get this straight. If we see bank lending pick up, what does that mean for inflation? Let's just take a look at it right now. Okay, so if you look at the performance of commodities for the past year, right? You could see that coffee, once again, this is off of finwiz.com. Coffee has been bouncing back from a bear market for the past three years. Lean hogs, oats, corn, pork bellies, soybeans, wheat, orange juice, etc. So we're definitely seeing more inflation in some of these commodities out there based on the data here. So if the bank loans are starting to expand you're starting to see the commodities markets see higher prices or you're starting to see higher prices in some of these commodities what may the Federal Reserve do right I mean I have talked about hey they they could potentially reverse taper if there are problems in China or we get problems in the credit market excuse me credit markets however if we do start to see these prices continue to rise in the commodities markets. We start to see more banks start to loan money, right? What will this be? U.S. bank total loans and leases will expand, right? So the Federal Reserve, what they may say is, you know what? We want to make sure that we do have some inflation, but we don't want it to let the inflation come out of the bottle. It's like the genie in the bottle. They don't want to come out. Once it comes out, then it's really hard to stop unless they aggressively raise rates. So what I think is going to happen, based on looking at this, based on the way that the loans are expanding here, this continues to go up, prices continue to go up. Janet Yellen may be forced to uh, abandon what she's talking about. She says that she will provide all this liquidity possible, possible. But... If we get more higher prices, loans start to come out, even in a larger number, I wouldn't be surprised if she aggressively, not aggressively, but she continues to taper, and we do see the first rate hike in 2015, right, or 2016, and by the way, that's the time when Barack Obama is going to leave and we're going to have a new president, so they usually tend to blow up some of these asset bubbles right before the president leaves or little after the president leaves so that's something to keep an eye on 
I have stated that hey Yellen's gonna I originally said that hey Yellen's going to keep the liquidity going, but if you see more of this data and the facts come out that hey we're seeing higher prices in some of these commodities, guess what? The taper, in my opinion, will aggressively continue and they're gonna raise the Fed funds rate probably within the next year or so. Unlike what Schiff's talking about that hey they're going to reverse the taper and all that stuff but we shall see what do you guys think or what do you guys think talk to me later bye or I'll talk to you later bye